this weekend, Canelo was supposed to be the as soon as we have done Joe. But at the start of the show, we were talking about um, the, the prospect of that fight maybe being made once it uh, gets back to some type of normality. But um, for fans that are listening to this, I think it would be quite nice to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. And that's Cinco de Mayo weekend, the big Mexican bank holiday weekend, which... Oscar De La Hoya made his home, Floyd Mayweather made his home, and now Canelo Alvarez is making his home. And in fact, the one in September, a certain Mexican superstar by Tyson Fury started to make his home. Um, it really is a signature weekend in Las Vegas, isn't it? If you're a fight fan, you've got to try your very best to get to Vegas for Cinco de Mayo. Absolutely. It's an extraordinary, extraordinarily busy weekend. I mean, the algorithms of pay-per-view in America with a massive, generally Mexican audience, um, as I say, Cinco de Mayo is, is a very traditional holiday. Um, and, and there are probably more Mexicans, uh, pound for pound, head for head, um, in the world than watch boxing on these occasions. So, you know, when you think that 30 million people stop, put down their tools, put down, close the offices, gather with families to watch Canelo every time he fights. 30 million people, million people. It just shows you what a big star he is. He's a bit like Wayne Rooney, Ricky Hatton, and Lady Diana um, rolled into one in, in, in his own country, all rolled up in that Canelo, which means cinnamon, of course, because of his flame red hair. Well, um, the, the history between, I hope we're going to get some mariachi music in a minute. But, you want some mariachi um, Yeah, let's have some kind of mariachi. Oh, I'm getting some mariachi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, might even just crack open a bit of tequila in a minute, a bit of mess. Oh, here we go, but, um, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, vaya, vamos, uh, las vacaciones. Hablamos en español. Cinco de mayo. And listen, it goes back to 2003, starting with an Oscar De La Hoya fight, where they d decided to try and make it an occasion. And since yeah. then, Adam, I mean, I've been very, very privileged. I, I'm trying to count up earlier. I didn't actually have time to get all the way through the list, but I've definitely been at 10 of the last 16 or 17. And they are some of the biggest...